Obesity is a growing epidemic across the globe and poses many health risks. The human body has two primary kinds of fat, subcutaneous fat and visceral fat. Subcutaneous fat cells are adipose cells found beneath the skin. Subcutaneous fat is the deepest layer of your skin. It acts as a layer of insulation to protect your internal organs and muscles from shock and changes in temperature. Moreover, your body stores energy in this layer. But if the fat stored is too much, it becomes a severe health concern. To maintain a healthy weight and reduce the risk of heart disease, stroke, diabetes, and other illnesses, you should talk to your doctor about getting rid of excess fat. Subcutaneous fat is more prevalent in certain parts of the body. For example, some people accumulate it more around their lower back. It also accumulates around the cheek and can be seen as jowls. Subcutaneous fat pads the buttocks, thighs, breasts, and arms. The distribution of subcutaneous fat differs among people depending on age, genetic variations, gender, ethnicity, diet, physical activity level, and body shape. So, how do you know if you have excess subcutaneous fat? The simplest way to find out is to measure your body mass index BMI. Your BMI tells you if you are overweight based on your weight and height. If you are an adult and have a BMI less than 18.5, you are considered underweight. A healthy BMI is between 18.5 and 24.9. A BMI between 25 to 29.9 is considered overweight, 30 or more would be obese. Next, we discuss how to get rid of excess subcutaneous fat. One way to reduce subcutaneous fat is by eating less and exercising more. You can lose subcutaneous fat by consuming fewer calories than you burn. Experts recommend a healthy diet high in fruits, vegetables, fiber, whole grains, and nuts to shed excess subcutaneous fat. It is essential to maintain a diet rich in lean proteins, such as soy, fish, or poultry, containing less added sugar, salt, red meat, or saturated fats. This diet encourages the body to burn calories from energy stored in fat. To prevent the buildup of subcutaneous fat, you should actively burn calories. Aerobic activity is a recommended exercise for those looking to burn calories and maintain a healthy weight. Aerobic activity includes walking, running, cycling, swimming, and other movement-based activities that increase the heart rate. Exercise should be done for at least 150 minutes per week as part of a comprehensive program to maintain or improve fitness. To conclude, many people think that fat is bad, but fat is necessary for your body to function correctly. There are several reasons why your body has subcutaneous fat, such as insulation and shock absorption. However, an excess amount of fat can cause health problems such as heart disease and diabetes. When in doubt, it's best to talk to a doctor. And if you are overweight or obese, follow a healthy diet and exercise regularly for optimum health. Content of this video is for informational purposes only and not to be substituted for professional medical advice. Please like, comment and share this video and subscribe to our channel for more such content.